All right, check this out. You guys are back on the episode of Blue Devil Reactions. And what we have going on today is a video titled Old School Homeboys from the Barrio. Let me see what else it says. Life in the Projects in the Early 1980s. Now that was about, what, 33 years ago? Am I correct or am I wrong? No, that was longer. That's about 43 years ago. Wow. At an extra 10, time flies. I was alive in the 80s, but near the end, you know, not going to tell you when. Let people guess that's what they do the best. Uh, but check it out before we get into this video right here. Salute to everybody that's been commenting in the video. Salute to everybody that's been showing love. Salute to everybody that's been liking everything. You already know I've said it before. That means a lot, and it really makes this channel grow. We don't ask for nothing in return except for loyalty. You already know. Uh, but check this out. Before we get into this video, those that are new to Blue Devil Reactions, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. Make sure you run up the likes. Uh, you know, it helps put us in the algorithm. It helps the channel grow. And you already know how that goes. Listen. Listen. And to those that don't know, those that don't know, they're probably like, who is this guy? Who You know, we're the, you guys are first timers here. Don't know what, who we are or what we got going on. Go over to the main page, The Hater World. We drop more serious content over there. We drop podcasts. We have guests. We have rappers. You know, uh, you know, we have a little bit of everything. Uh, so make sure you go over there. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. You already know. I don't got to tell you. Uh, and other than that, anybody that wants to hit me direct, wants to talk to me and me only, uh, go to my Instagram at the hater world you know uh that'd be the best way to communicate with me i will get back to you sooner than later but check this out check this out i don't want to hold you guys too long you guys already know the get down uh let's watch this video homeboys live in the projects life in the projects in the early 1980s so we're going to travel back in time and we're going to watch to see what the homies look like 43 years ago so with no further ado let's get you guys a blue devil reaction let's go rough of flats quattro flats and uh four flats here's where a few of the homeboys came and put their platas and, uh, some are old some are new They roll on across the mile. I don't know why in my home, boy. <laughs> Somebody didn't like them. He wrote that in Abril, 1964, April. Wow. Check that out, 1964. Hey, it's crazy. Uh, those are like hieroglyphs right there, my boy. You know when when people found the uh, the 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 pyramids and they have all these ancient writings on the on the on the rocks and you know trying to figure them out bro in a million years from now when we gone probably even less than that and people refine or dig up what used to be here they gonna find this they're gonna have this in the museum somewhere my boy they gonna think that 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 was aliens or something you know uh that's dope though because nowadays bro you don't see homies writing on the wall like Barrio so-and-so, 1993. Like, it don't happen. That's just dope to see. It's the same, the same name. S. Sinners. That's one of the cliques that came out of flats. Sinners. There's some more names down here. Bobby. Bobby, the flats. 1945. Wow. Oh, veterano. I don't know if he's still around, but. Wow. Wow. 1945. Bro, listen. Listen. Not only do I like history, you guys are gonna learn something about me today. Not only do I like history, but I'm very tapped in with time, bro. To me, time is 
it's not only is it valuable, but I like studying time. You know, it, 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 time is is crazy. You know, and and believe it or not, I'm a time freak. I got clocks everywhere. You can see one back there. That's a crystal clock. And you can see one in the other in the other studio, and they all over the place. I'm infatuated with time, bro, because time is what we don't have. Time is what we can't get back. And time is something that we're stuck in, believe it or not. Uh, but to see a writing like that hieroglyph from 1945, somebody should cut that out and put that somewhere in a museum, bro. And I don't mean like a fucking dinosaur museum. I mean like like put together some kind of like, you know, place where... Where, where it wouldn't even work. It would homies will shoot that shit up. It wouldn't even work. But that would be a bro. Listen, writings like this on the wall are becoming more and more extinct. Let me tell you something really quick. Uh, I have a big brother, right? And there's this tree by some apartments we used to live at, and he had tagged on the tree, right? His neighborhood, right? It was there for like thirty years. I will say. 20. I will say safely, I remember him writing it like in 2001. And I would see it because I would live nearby and I would see it every time that I would drive by. I probably stopped seeing it in 2015. So about 15 years. And it was there clearly. And eventually, you know, time started to... It was on the tree. And so... These become hieroglyphs, bro. This would be dope for somebody to cut out and put at their pad on the wall as a piece of art. Believe it or not. It's just because of the time effect. He grew up over here where we did. Just like a lot of the other vatos wrote their placas on this place. They would come walking around through here. You know. Husky. Oh, what a trip. Bro, I am not lying. I haven't watched this at all. That's my big brother's nickname. That's my big brother's nickname. No BS. I have not seen this. Wow, bro, I got a gift. I got a gift. This is wild. This is wild. Wow. See, this used to be like our, 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 our secret ground right here, you know? Get loaded for you. That I need for nobody, man. It's right here. See, the thing about this place is nothing here. There's, no, there's nobody here that can uh, bother us, you know? Like, say, in the neighborhood where there's... Uh, People, people all around, mothers yelling at you, people trying to chase you away, and you know, the whole thing, you know. We should come over here and uh, just uh, let our minds go, you know. The whole. Like, uh, that's when uh, some of the, me, myself. Oh, come on, what is my boy, is my boy a time traveler? Look at right here. Look at right here. Does anybody know who that is? I'll give you two seconds to talk about it. To write it down below in the comments. First of all, I'm going to say rest in peace to the legend. Right. And I'm not trying to make fun of, of nobody. I got none but love and respect for Toker from Brownside. Tell me that don't look like my boy right there. Man, it's sad that we lost a legend. Toker was needed in the rap game. Toker was needed in the in the... In, in the Chicano force. You know, he, he was a beast. But my boy, a time traveler. Salute. Rest in peace, a big toax. Let's go. Some of the homeboys used to sniff glue. Used to come over here and sniff glue and just trip out, man. They <laughs> been in, they been in outer space right here, you know. You look down all the way down, you know. GTA 5. So it just does something to your mind. See how much imagination you have. See what you can turn it into. We used to put a couple of nails on the railroad tracks and uh, see, it used to go something like this. See, right now, there's no train coming right now. But a train was coming. Let's put it right here like that, see?
they come by, next thing you know, that thing is smashed. I would have put our only knife out of commission. All right. See there? See that came out? Bro, these vatos need a job. These vatos need a job, homie. These fucking guys need a job. They're bored. We got Cheech Marine right there with the little hat. And we got the other homeboy making we got the other homeboy making shanks with a nail and a tra and a train. Bro, just go get a kitchen knife, homeboy. Just go get a kitchen knife. Can you see that right there? <laughs> That's where it goes into people. So then after we used to go, sharpen it up. Come out, sharpening it up. Yeah, yeah. And then there used to be a knife. We should go around. See a hobo, somebody. <laughs> they better get out of the way for it. What? Take care of you with my little knife. See, because we were little kids at that time. This is. That fool said a hobo. Bro, come on, bro. Like, the, listen. Listen. Sometimes you're just bored out of your mind. You don't know what to do or what to say. I think this is one of those instances where he's just saying some dumb shit to say it. Like, motherfucker looks 43, but he's really 23. He out there making uh, prison shanks with a train and a nail. A rusty old nail. Come on, my boy. Find something better to do with your, with, your, with your life. Plus, he said he was sniffing paint. Back in the day, paint was a big thing. You know, you see it all up in the movies and everything, but... Come on, my boy. Listen, if they, it's hard to say, right? Because I don't know who in they circle. First number of respect to these guys, right? But if they had an older homie in their circle teaching them how, how to make bread, instead of sitting around all day in the hood or in the alley or in the GTA 5 uh, 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 scenery, they could be getting to the, getting to the, to the moolah. Sometimes that's all you need, bro. Sometimes that's all you need. You know, a homie that's done it, that can put you on game. You know, let's go. It's a big weapon for a little kid. See that? They come on, save this one, see? <sighs> going back to the barrio now, and now uh, we might run into some trouble. This fool's just clowning though, I think. Behind me is downtown Los Angeles. And over here... Nah, fool, it's New York. City Hall's at. There's where East LA starts coming this way. That big the white building. See, that's all barrios. There's got to be a million or more people living here. And the majority speak Spanish. Chicanos. There's got to be city halls at. Right here, watch. There's where East LA starts coming this way. As far as the. This building here. I think the address is 200 North Hill Street. 200 North Hill Street. 200 North Hill Street. Could be. I, I think that's what it is. I can see. That's all barrios. There's got to be a million or more people living here. And the majority speak Spanish. Chicanos, Latinos of different kinds, you know. It's all kinds of barrios. There's White Pants, Dogtown, Alpine, Mesa. Too many to name. Hayes, Cantarranas, East Los. All it is, it's imaginary borders that the Chavalos have done. Facts. When I was growing up here, about 20 years back, this was just one huge barrio. They used to call it the Tortilla Flats. In the 50s, when the... When the Think about it, this is the 80s, right? The guy said, 20 years back when I grew up here. The 60s. Bro, it's wild. You know, uh, sometimes I'd be looking at my dad and I'd be like, Bro, you on your last leg, my boy. You better better put me up in that wheel, and you better hurry up and figure what you're going to do because the time's clicking for you, you know. Uh, and he looks at me all pissed off. I'll be like, bro, well, you better get it together, my boy, because you ain't going to be here that long. You know, you've been here since the 50s, dog, and, you know, time is time is, is ticking right now, you know, and it's crazy. It is crazy because that's a long-ass time. 
and eventually everyone watching everyone on here we all gonna be there pretty soon freeways came in they divided the barrios what happened is that the, the guys themselves started getting the feeling that they were in a, in a different barrio now they call it cuatro flats Dang, that little music's creepy, huh? That's a community, bro. That's how it is. It's just a community of people. Everybody knows each, each other. Everybody... Uh, uh, you know, lives within those four blocks or that four corner apartment complex projects. You know, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. It is wild. A lot of them kids are old as shit right now. Well, look, that video is done. It's just a bunch of kids playing around. Listen, YouTube is the closest thing that we'll ever have to a time travel machine. You know, think about it. You can go back and watch videos from the 80s, the 70s, the 60s, the 50s. You know, uh, I've even watched videos black and white videos from the 20s bro type in like like 1920 in downtown los angeles and you'll see videos of uh of uh no nah, i don't want to say that i have seen videos at all but i'm not sure if it was la but i have seen for sure la in the 40s and the 50s uh the videos are out there go look for them it's wild bro big old cameras like this probably you know but listen it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, make sure you guys comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, run up the likes. You know, click that little thumbs up button. You know, and once again, make sure you're subscribed. Other than that, I'm going to kill this video where I laying call it a day. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Once again, this was a Blue Devil reaction. And we out.